Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Florida Keys video series. As you watch Ralph make the bellichon for our Noche Buena, please know that you are helping to support my channel by subscribing, sharing the video with your loved ones, and liking the video if you find it entertaining. This is the third video in the series. We described what we did when visiting the Florida Keys during Thanksgiving in parts 1 and 2. The links are now included in the description below. In the following two videos, starting with this one, we will show you more activities and restaurants we enjoyed while visiting the Keys in December. As we reflected on the year that was 2022, we spent the final few days of the year back down in the most picturesque location in Florida. The majority of the day will be spent in Isla Murada, where we'll see Betsy the Lobster, the History of Diving Museum, and Island Fish Company, among other places. But first, we went to Marathon Bagels in the city center for coffee and bagels. If you're in the area, you must stop here. Grab a bagel of your choice and head to Sombrero Beach to catch the sunrise. But first, let's head back north to Isla Morada. And there's no one to play. It's just the way it is. Like stone, emotionless in this world of stone. Diving Museum. The History of Diving Museum is home to one of the world's greatest collections of diving helmets, hand air pumps, armored suits, and other diving equipment from more than 30 different countries. Doctors Joe and Sally Bauer, who were motivated by the desire to share their knowledge and enthusiasm for diving history with the public, built the museum utilizing their collection which had grown to be one of the largest and most extensive in the world. Okay. <laughs> 19 seconds, that's all, that's all. Remember, 60 minutes. Six minutes? 60. The no, longest. six to eight minutes. Oh. Okay, so Ralph's gonna try. Just press the... Dad, you press the other one first. Deep breath. He's a diver, so he better hold his breath longer than I. Ding! 
<laughs> a minute and a half. <laughs> Look at that. That's impressive. Here's the bellow. I guess that's how to, to bring air in. From the surface, you see. Where does it come? Oh, from outside. Oh, here's the diver. That's the one from the outside. Oh, look. You see, so we do it here. Look, it's going out of that yellow thing. Look. Yep. Wow. That's really cool.
in the gift shop. Just up the road on US-1 from the History of Diving Museum is a 40-foot long and nearly 30 feet tall lobster statue lovingly named Betsy. It stands guard in front of the Rain Barrel Village. It was originally created in the 1980s to celebrate the species that is native to the Florida Keys. It is the second most photographed landmark in the Keys, the first being the southernmost point buoy of course. The Rain Barrel Village has been a top Florida Keys destination for both tourists and locals alike. Its open-air complex is a tropical garden oasis lined with a collection of specialty shops, galleries, and boutiques. This is a must-stop. Are sharks. <laughs> so you can stop by here at World Wide World Sportsman. I'm gonna go shop for some tackle. There's a lounge at the top there called the Zane Gray Lounge. I bet you can watch a good sunset there. It's beautiful. <laughs> Tortuga. It's a rum cake. Taste of the islands. Dry berth in the middle of the worldwide sportsman is the vessel which has been called the sister ship to Ernest Hemingway's Pilar. Legend has it that Hemingway fished from this boat in 1933 and decided that he must own one, just like it if he were to satisfy his yearning to hunt the big game fish of the Gulf stream waters all the way to Bimini. The two ships are very much alike, except that Hemingway customized his pillar. It was 4 feet shorter at 38 feet, and the transom was lowered by 1 foot. Otherwise, they shared the same home at the port of Key West and fished the same waters throughout the 30s. Both boats also took part in World War II. Worldwide Spilar being called to duty with the Navy in Key West, while Hemingway armed his Pilar to the hilt and chased German submarines in the waters of Cuba, having changed his home port to Havana. Typewriter, I guess, Hemingway. So this must be the sleeping quarters. Have slept over here on either side. It's 
so neat. <coughs> Why are they all here? Hi. Hi. Wahoo. <laughs> 